as the community starts to reopen and access to stores and restaurants become more available, shop owners are having a hard time convincing people to come back to work. I had the chance to talk with one shop owner who says the job market is open, but the workers are slim. As the weather gets warmer, customers start slowly piling into restaurants and shops. But filling orders that were once easy to handle is now busy work for Clavon's ice cream. We usually staff up about 11, or 15, 11 to 15 more people, and I mean, we only have three that, uh, so far this year. He says nobody wants to come work. Name your site, Monster, we've posted online, we've done LinkedIn. Hancher has even gone to the competition about asking employees to work split shifts. Maybe we could share some, uh, some bussers or waiters or things like that. With all the methods he's tried, nothing has brought in the staff he needs. He says concerns of catching COVID-19 is one reason to blame, as well as unemployment checks, money that goes straight to the bank without having to lift a finger. We pay a lot more than what people are uh, used to on unemployment, but unemployment benefits, if I can get my unemployment benefits and I don't have to go out there and risk, well, then I'm going to probably stay at home. And Clavon's isn't the only place looking for help. Other businesses have taken to social media looking for hires, too. And next week, there's a job fair for three new restaurants looking to hire more than 100 employees at PNC Park. As things start to heat up, so is Clavon's ice cream. After losing half of their income from COVID circumstances, Hancher says they're holding on, but they can't take much more. Especially in the summer months, about 80% of our revenue comes during the summer, and we have to have the staff to serve the people to do it. We need to get back in business, and we need to get back in business fast, and if it takes too long, we're going to lose another six months, and we just can't afford to do that.